That's right, friendos. It's time. Ah, welcome to the Mouth Noise stream. Good drink. Should probably have had something to drink when I woke up. Button. Built that project. What does it want from me? Oh yeah, it just completes. Okay. And what were we doing? We were doing bitwise. And someone bitboy equals one. See how bitboy. Yeah, bitboy twenty-seven. Bitboy. Oh yeah, we were checking uh, bitwise uh, operators. How they operate <clears throat> by making a long, moving it, changing it, moving it again, changing it again. That's pretty cool, I guess. If you're into that kind of stuff. Which we are. Three. Seven, one, one. Okay. They were the answers to the uh the uh the end of module questions. We went to check them not by looking at the answer sheet at the back of the book, because this book is a PDF and it's impossible to fucking navigate. It's fine to go forwards, but like to get back where you were, absolutely not enough. Uh we just did it in the in the thing. And then we did size of. And now we're on to four dot ten comma operator. Wow. Oh yeah. The comma operator comma operator takes two operands, evaluates from left to right, and it guarantees the order in which they're evaluated. Okay. What? And then it just gives you questions. Okay, so uh, let's do the old hokey pokey here. Uh, Write a program to print the size of each of the built-in types. Uh, There's ints, there's chars, float, I guess, sure. And this is, uh, Spaghetti or name type is not allowed. Show potential finches. Control enter. Okay. Alt enter, sorry. Control and full stop. Hello. Remove int. 
Is that is that okay? Why you gotta be like this, man? Uh, this should be fine, right? Knew it. Syntax error. Expected an expression. Hmm. Let's scroll back up to the uh, size off chapter, maybe. Okay, so a pointer is going to need uh, an assignment, so it's not, it's not a thing that we, we can do here, so why are you doing that to me? Why are you doing that to me? This is how many bytes they are, right? If a char is one byte and it is four bytes, a float is four bytes. Oh. We could add we could add others, we could add Let's let's just make these look a little bit nicer. Huh? along along is four as well uh. Which goes to show you that an integer can be as big as a long or something. Predict the output of the following code and explain your reasoning. Now run the program. Is the output what you expected? Now figure out why. In x, square brackets 10, in star p equals x. See out size of x divided by size of star x. So x is an array uh, of 10 integers, and int star p is a pointer to. No, it's not. Uh, we did this before. It's a pointer to a an an uh, mm, uh fuck. So see out size of x divided by size of star x. That's going to equal 4.
No. Ten. No. Fuck. Ten. It's going to equal ten. <laughs> See out size of P, size of star P. So... P is gonna P is P is gonna be <laughs> I get the strangest feeling that this is not meant to be a fraction. I get the feeling that this is this is meant to be a whole number. But I'm gonna go with a fraction of Uh, one one tenth, zero point Thank you. Well, I was right about the first one, but the second one is one for some strange reason which means p and star p have the same value Uh, can I use the calculator to change hexadecimal into decimal, please, this one time? Uh... Zero decimal is seventy million eight hundred twenty-four thousand three hundred four. Now I had the word octal stuck in my head last night, and I was like, "What the fuck is an octal? It's a, it's a type of number." That's ten F F A thirty. Why is there a dash there? Just, uh... Oh, right. Yeah, okay, it's a memory address, right? 
Why does it equal one? No, yeah, it's negative eight hundred eight million five hundred no eighty five million eight hundred and fifty eight million nine hundred and ninety three thousand four hundred sixty. Interesting number. So P is is a pointer, right? It's a memory address. Star P. Gonna be crazy. Star P is the binary value of the pointer. Oh, no, I need you. I closed the calculator. Oh, what an idiot. Uh, star P is minus eight five eight nine nine. Three, four, six. Oh, oh, one, one, 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 oh, one, oh, oh. Ah, here we go. F F F F F F F F C C C C C C Okay. Does it equal one because they're they're not they're not numbers? Does it equal one because the size of the data value to hold this is the same as the size of the data value to hold this? Idiot. Ah, uh, because they're both they're both uh, they're both memory addresses. The size of a memory address is the same as the size of another memory address on a system on the same system. Why does my brain turn this slowly? I'm thinking about the wrong goddamn things. That's why. But size of x divided by size of star x. I got completely correct. It is the size of the array divided by the size of an individual member of the array, which equals the number of members in the array. Which actually doesn't make any sense to me, because surely an array would have to be bigger. Um, because uh, it has to have, a, you know, the, the computer has to know it's an array, right? The computer has to be like, has to have the information of the first member of the array and the number of entries in the array as well as the data of each entry in the array. Am I incorrect on this? Surely it should be slightly bigger, like a bit bigger. Get it? Don't clip that. I'm, so, I'm, I'm ashamed that I even made that joke. I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, using table 4.12, parenthesize the following expressions to match the default evaluation. Table four one two. Where is that? Where is table four one two? This is four dot oh one oh, so I'm guessing it's further down here. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse you know what this feels like? It feels like running through a classroom that you're not meant to be in. Here we go. Operator precedence table. A colon colon global scope, colon colon class scope, namespace scope, blah 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 blah.
so size of is right associative and you can have size of expression and size of parenthesis type so I'm, I'm a little bit stuck in the brain because if you add parentheses at the end of size of you're not requesting the size of a, an object, you're requesting the size of a type. So can we even parenthesize the stuff? I guess it doesn't have to be real code, we just have to parenthesize it to show w what's going to happen first. Everything on the right hand side is going to happen first and then it's going to get the size of it, okay? That's what this table is telling me. This table is telling me, oh, actually there might be an outlier case where it grabs like a, a variable, right? I'm just trying to get back to my page. We're back, we're back, we're back. Uh, size of X plus Y. I don't get it. I don't get it. So I'm guessing anything that's that's left associative is going to be fine, but anything that's right associative is going to have a problem, I guess. That's my guess. Because it's, because as they're written out, The size of function accepts an expression, and they're they're all expressions at the end of size of. They're all expressions. Left-handed expression is evaluated, and the result of this code is the result of a comma expression. Why is this just in the middle? Why are the exercises 4.10 for the size of operator just in the middle of the comma? That that. That wasn't jarring at all. Fuck out of here. Who wrote this book? Sorry, not who wrote this book. The actual content in the book's fine. Who formatted this fucking book? Christ. Um, so yeah. Parenthesize the expressions to match the default evaluation. Some size of brackets x plus y. It's not going to be size of x plus y because the x would have to be in parentheses first. Right associative, left associative, right associative, left. I just can I can I get a Google? Can I do a Google for this? Is that cheating? Maybe someone else can explain it to me better than the book can explain it to me. Hey, that buddy. Do not play. Do not play. Vod mute. Vod mute. Do not play. Uh, 
left associative versus right associative. See, thousands of people have already Googled this. Oh no. <sighs> okay, let's, let's open a Wikipedia page. See what a Wikipedia page says. Operator associativity. The associativity of an operator is a property that determines how operators of the same precedence are grouped in the absence of parentheses. An operand is preceded by operators. For example, sm smiley pouty face. And those operators have equal precedence. The operand may be used as an input to two different operations. The choice of which operations to apply the operand to do is determined by the associativity of the operators. Operators may be associative, meaning that the operations can be grouped arbitrarily. Left associative, meaning the operations are grouped from the left. Right associative, meaning that operations are grouped from the right, or non-associative means operations cannot be chained. Often because the output type is incompatible with the input types. The associativity and presence of an operator is part of the definition programming language. Different programming languages may use different associativity and precedence for the same type of operator. Consider the expression a tilde b tilde c. The operator has left associativity. This expression would be interpreted as a and b in brackets and then c. If the associativity has right Associativity expression will be a tilde b tilde c in brackets. If the operator is non-associative, the expression might be a syntax error. For example, subtraction division used in conventional math notation are inherently left associative. Addition and multiplication by contrast are both right associative. Ah, the table for C and C++. Here we go. Oh, this is the exact thing that I was just looking at. Wow. Who would have guessed that Wikipedia has the exact same information as the book that I'm reading? It would almost seem that Wikipedia is somewhat a credible source of information at this point. Oh, yeah. Am I too high here? Am I too low? Two pegs. No, it isn't. The armrests are at exactly the same height, and yet. <sighs> Precedence. Okay. Uh, element selection through pointer, element selection by reference is precedence to left to right associative. Whoa, how about an exercise? Oh, there we go. Wait, what? Yeah, I've, I've skipped something here. Here we go. A size of is third. It is of the same precedence as prefix, increment, decrement, unary plus, minus, logical not, bitwise not, typecast, indirection, dereference, address of, alignment of, new, new, delete, delete. Okay. Dynamic memory allocation. <gasps> uh, it is of a higher precedence than... Less than, greater than, equal to. Here we go, number nine. Ah. Right. Y 
Right, I see, I see, I see, I see. So, ah, not unary plus, addition and subtraction, okay. Why can't why can't you see my why can't you see my screen? The fuck is going on here? Did I press that button by mistake? I didn't mean to. <laughs> Maybe I did. Anyway, <laughs> I okay. So it's of the same. This one's fine. This doesn't need any parentheses. However, p dash mem i uh the whole the whole right hand side of that is going to be in print that happens first and then size of size of x plus y uh that is size of x plus y as we can see the uh, addition is number six it doesn't matter what its um precedence is i mean it doesn't matter what its associativity is because the precedence is lower. Uh, size of A is less than B, same thing. It's down here in number nine, even lower than addition and subtraction. Um, A function call is number two as well. So it's going to be size size of x in parentheses plus y. Size of parentheses m arrow mem. Sorry, p arrow mem. Jesus. I close brackets. Size of a in parentheses less than b. And then size of parentheses function of whatever parentheses parentheses parentheses. Sorted. Maybe one day I'll actually understand that correctly, fully. Something something's going on here, man. It's talking about comma as a logical operator. Let me just let me just get rid of this. Let me just get rid of this so I can see chat. Hi chat. Comma operator takes two operands, evaluates from left to right. Comma operator guarantees the order in which those operands are evaluated. Left hand expression is evaluated and its result is discarded. The result of a comma expression is the value of its right-hand expression. The result is an i-value if the right-hand operand is an i-value. Left-hand expression is evaluated and its result is discarded. One common use for the comma operator is in a for loop. Vector int size type. So vector int colon colon size type count equals ivec dot size brackets semicolon. Assign values from size one to the elements in ivec.
for vector in size type ix equals zero, ix does not equal ivec dot size plus plus ix comma minus minus cnt ivec ix equals cnt Okay, right, okay. So a comma a comma operator goes from left to right. The left hand thing happens, but it does not return that result. The right hand thing happens and it returns the right hand result. That's so fucking stupid. Like why is that helpful? What if what if you want the left hand? No, but like in in what situation would this be more helpful than just having two variables? Is it less taxing on memory? Is it faster? I guess it's fine, but whatever. The program in this section uses the prefix, increment, and decrement operators. Explain why we used prefix and not postfix. What changes would have to be made to use the postfix versions? Yes. Yes. Uh, you'd have to start, uh, IX at one. Yeah. You have to start IX at one. No, no. You would have to start IX at one. Would you have to start IX at one? Because, um, No, no, you wouldn't have to start IX at 1. Because IX++ would happen at the end of each cycle, right? Well, that doesn't make any sense either because. Oh, fuck. How are you going to get ix equals zero on the first run if you have plus plus ix? Or if that doesn't. Because in, in C, we used. Uh, the postfix all the time. Postfix was like postfix was bay. It's just um let's just do it. You know what?
Is that is that how you do it? Did that, did that just, did that just change that for me? Is that wrong? Expression must have a class type. What do you mean? Local variable, standard vector in IVEC32. Vector, vector in V110. Ah, hmm. Reg regular brackets, maybe? Is that what I did wrong? Yeah, I'm an idiot. <coughs> Why is that uh, such a large bloob to do that? <laughs> oh, errors. It's me spelling things wrong. Ivex, lovely. Oh, the hell? Errors. Warnings. Standard vector. Three sixty one. For God's sakes. Thank you. Okay, so it's, that's fine, that works. Ix starts out as zero for some reason. 
does not get incremented until after the end. So we're going to switch those around now. And we're going to see what happens. Because I'm not smart enough to tell you what happens instantly. Wham. I don't know what to tell you, but it works fine this way as well. You don't have to change anything if you use prefix because it's. I don't, <laughs> I don't know why it works. Don't ask me. But they're the exact same numbers that we had, right? IX0 through 31 and CNT 32 through 1. Okay. So you don't have to make any changes to this um, because this is in the setup text for the loop and it, it, it I don't know, I don't know, don't ask me, stop asking me questions, I don't know why it works. It works, you don't have to change it, fuck off, <laughs> help me. Explain the following loop, constant expression int size equals 5. In IA, size, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. For int, star pointer equals IA, IX equals 0, IX does not equal size, and pointer does not equal IA plus size, plus plus IX, plus plus pointer. Uh, okay, so, uh, so we have a vector of, of five, no we don't, we have a, an array of five ints, we have pointer, In IA size. So we have a five a size five array of ints. IX is the iterator. IA is Uh, pointer is a pointer to IA. Is that right? Because IA is a, an array, IA is actually a pointer to the first thing in the array. And therefore, pointer is a pointer to the pointer. And when we loop, we check to see if ix, the iterator, is not larger than the size of the array. We check to see if the pointer is not equal to ia plus size, which I'm guessing is pointer arithmetic to say that the pointer isn't pointing to a pointer beyond the end of the array. And then we, as long as that's cool, we, we increment both ix and we, uh, and pointer, and we return the value of pointer to the, to the, to the thing. Using table 412, explain what the following expression does. Some value question mark plus plus x plus plus y colon minus minus x minus minus y okay um if some value is true 
then it will increment x and it will increment y and return y. If some value is false, it will decrement x and it will decrement y and return the value of y, right? That's fine, right? Why do I need to use the table 412 for precedence for this one? That's worrying me. You tell me it doesn't do that? I think it does that. I think it does that, buddy. I think we need to think about that one. So call an operator. We did that ages ago. Type conversions. Can I stop now? Can I? <laughs> I don't want to do any more. <laughs> oh, 51 minutes of C. It's fine. Definitely did not give me a headache or anything like that. Stupid C. You stupid. I'm commenting it out now so I don't have to do it next week. Because I'm smart. S M R D. Yeah, I'm going to stop now. End of the C streamer. So if you came to watch the live video, thank you very much for watching the live video. If you came to watch the video on demand, thank you for watching the video on demand. And as always, we'll see you in the next episode.